what do you think that is? Well, it's got to be some sort of rock material or paint that has, it's got to be like a, it looks like something that hooks on to something. Yeah. And then all the other side of here is, a, yeah, you can see there's like a little belt looking clip thing on there. I have no idea. Brent, do you have any guesses what, what the heck this thing could be? Man. Uh, can we see the uh, the first side again? All right, so I'm looking at it. I don't even know how to describe this to the audience. Wow. It's like a it's like a flat disc inside a metal ring with hooks and maybe a bolt hole on it, and an arm that comes off one side. It does look like a belt loop. So I'm gonna I'm gonna call this um, a very early headlamp so you can like charge it up whoa by shining light on it kind of like uh you know how your watch has yeah and then i don't know some bioluminescent kind of it's stuff like a it glow in the dark thing but, mm -hmm. okay well. and then you can clip that i don't know on your hat or your jacket or something and use that to illuminate things and that's, radiate that's your brain best he, guess he is pretty darn close yes okay. so um these are um, I guess they started getting used maybe in the 30s through the 60s. They are radioluminescent personnel markers. And yeah, the idea was instead of having to use flashlights or other things, uh, you could have these give off a low level of light and you attach it to your helmet or yeah, you're somewhere on your person. And then they also had versions for like on the decks of ships and stuff. That seems dangerous. Yeah. Um, we were getting somewhere like we, that was 11. Uh, I did another recording where we got up to like 60 when we were like right next to it. When we were holding it out in the open air, it was like maybe 20 microsieverts an hour. A 